Hi, friend. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first few things. Do we like the new hair? I like it, huh? Isn't it cute? I really, I think I like it. I wanted to try something different. Black women and hair. That's definitely another topic for another video. And we're not going to talk about that today. Today's video is brought to you by Salus. And I wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited because I got a new sponsorship. And I'm really excited that um, brands want to reach out to me and sponsor their products and their videos but I will talk about stylus in a minute but today I wanted to talk to you guys about values oh my god <sighs> um values are something that I hold super super dear to me and it's super super important to me that I always have my values at hand whenever I needed it um I have been uh, living my life pretty okay um, my life, of course, isn't perfect, but I always go back to my values every time um, I feel like I'm a little bit like lost and I'm a little bit like undecisive about things I want to do. So I always go back to my values and that's something that is super, super, super important to me. And it's important that we as people um, hold our values first and make sure that we have everything we have um, correct before we kind of as we make sure that we do things correct as we like you know go through this life and um values are also can be seen as executive functions executive functions are something that kind of helps you like again make decisions do the correct things make sure you have everything everything you know right <laughs> so i always hold those two things um on hand and then another thing is boundaries boundaries and values can kind of go hand in hand um, and you always have to make sure that you have those two things, you know, boundaries are kind of like things that you set for yourself that you do not want to cross. And it kind of goes about the same thing as values, but boundaries are more for people. Your values are kind of more for you. So, um, and that's, that's, so boundaries, executive function and values. Those are the things I hold very, very, very close to me as I navigate through this life. When I mean values, I don't mean like the overarching things like politics and religion. Yes, politics and religion are really, really important to all of us. Um, and we also need to hold those dear, but those are so like nuanced and so complicated to talk about that you can't really just live your life off of your politics and values like every single day because those things kind of change people change um and your religious views change your politics kind of sway from time to time so it's not very it's not very it's not it's not just that you know those are very important but your values are not just those two overarching things right values are just things that you hold super 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 important to you and a friend of mine gave me a really good example of his values in life is that he's a very like cleanly person. He's very clean and neat about everything, super organized. And his values is not having dishes in the sink overnight. That's just something he prefers. And that's something that he holds really close from and that helps him in life and like navigating things. So that's like a, something that's super, that's a more physical value that you can hold close to you. But it's just an example of just holding important things to your heart. I realized my values were super important to me when I was maybe in like the sixth or seventh grade. I had a really close friend. Um, she was like my best friend in middle school. And I really, really liked her a lot. She was one of the, you know, um, one of those girls that I hung out with all the time in school. And let's call her Amy. Amy um, was super, super nice to me she was one of my first best friends she actually lived like across the street from me at some point we were, were like super super close and i really really loved her as you know a first best friend i think i had um one day when we got to middle school right because she was my friend from sixth from sixth i think to fifth from sixth to from fifth to sixth grade so we got to like when we got to middle school i remember she started hanging out with like what I consider at the time a bad crowd. <laughs> now, as I've grown up, my, you know, what I consider bad is definitely different now, you know, <laughs> but as a young person, I really thought that these things were bad. So she started hanging out with people that were wearing like darker clothes. They had tattoos. They were a little older than all of us. 
And the worst thing of all, they were smoking weed. <laughs> they were smoking weed. And I thought as a sixth grader, as a fifth, sixth, seventh grader, I thought smoking weed was the worst thing you could ever do as a human being at the time, right? I thought that um, there is nothing worse than smoking weed. <laughs> and I grew up in a, in a Catholic home and we were always told you can't smoke, you know, we barely drink in the house and it just wasn't a thing that, you know, you smoke, you're going to hell if you smoke, da, 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 da. So it wasn't really a thing that was like, it was very frowned upon in my household smoking weed. So I decided to not hang out with Amy anymore because I thought her smoking weed was bad and she was going to freaking hell for smoking weed. Of course, later I realized that, you know, weed isn't that bad. Um, and you know, you should just, it's fine now, right? It's more, but as a young person, weed was not tolerated. <laughs> and, and not only was she smoking weed, she was also smoking cigarettes. And I thought that was really bad. So I was like, I cannot hang out with this girl anymore. And I don't even think I ever told her that I didn't want to hang out with her anymore. I think I just stopped hanging out with her. I stopped calling her after school. I stopped just like you know, going to her house, because usually I would go to like my friend's house after school and hang out with them. I stopped going to her house after school. I stopped, I just didn't even tell her. That was really, that was really bad of me as a young child, huh? Yeah. Bad behavior <laughs> as a young child. Um, so that's, that's one of the, when I started to realize that my values were super, super important to me, like doing bad things and doing things that, you know, I felt like were inappropriate. Of course, one of the, you know, when it comes to values and what you hold dear, of course, one of the more bigger things, of course, do not kill, do not hurt people, you know, physically, emotionally, things like that. Do not, um, you know, like, you do not ask other people, do not hurt children or older people, things like that. Of course, those are really important. But there are the more emotional values you should hold. Um, and one of them for me is kindness. Um, I live my life every day being kind to people and being reasonable and being approaching everything I do with like with kindness. And I, I it's literally one of my biggest things I hold super, super dear to me. Being kind to strangers is so important to me. So even when I'm like dating in my dating apps, I put, you have to be kind. You have to be kind to strangers. And you have to be kind to like service people. If you're not kind, you're, I'm not, I don't like to like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't ever want to really hang out with people that are not very kind there. I always believe that there is a difference between being kind and being nice, right? Being nice is kind of like a little bit surface level. You're kind of nice to people in their face. You're kind of nice to them like, oh, you're great. I love your sweater, even though you freaking hate their sweater. Oh my God, you look so pretty today, even though you probably think they look disgusting and gross, things like that. But kindness is really thinking that they look great. It's really thinking that they do look pretty and you do like their skirt. I don't like fake to me. Fake nice is awful. Kindness is better. So like learn to be kind to people. And I feel like the world will be like, um, much nicer to you in a way, if you're just super, super, super kind to the people that you are around all the time. I think that of course you can't be too kind, right? You can't let people walk all over you. You can't let people stamp on your opinions and your, um, and your decisions, of course, but you do need to be kind and approach things with kindness. Um, one of the biggest examples that, of kindness that I've experienced recently, not me being kind, but someone else being super kind to me was I rented a car a while back and parking in my area is really difficult. And I was going around for like an hour looking for a parking space. And this guy came out of the store and he saw me struggling to find parking. And he was like, he pointed to me, he's like, do you want the space? Because he was about to leave. And he said, do you want the space? And I was like, yes. So, but I was kind of weird because I, I had to like turn around on the block in order to come back to the right side of the street to park. And it took me like at least five minutes to come back to the correct direction to park, right? And this guy literally waited for me to come back before he left. And I thought that was the nicest thing somebody has ever done 
is the fact that he waited for me because I feel like any other person would have just left and been like, ah, I'm not going to wait for her for five minutes. It took me five minutes to come back around and he waited for me. And I thought that was the kindest, nicest thing that somebody could ever do for me. And that's kind of what I mean. It's kind of just like being patient with people and being kind to people. That's super, super important. Another thing I really value is, of course, my family and my friends and my pet. Those are also really, really important values to hold. Um, and uh, another thing is I, tr I try really hard not to be judgy towards people and their decisions. If I am judgy, I just kind of keep it in my head because sometimes people don't want to hear that you don't agree with their decisions. People don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that you don't have any, like, you don't really like what they're saying. They don't want to hear that. What they want to hear sometimes is just kind of support, right? And just kind of um, something that they can just lean on to. Like if a friend is coming to you with a problem and they're like kind of going on a little bit of a rant and they're like, oh my God, life sucks, da, 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 da. And, you're, and you, the first thing you say is, well, why would you do that? Why would you put yourself in that position? They don't want to hear that. What you should say is something like, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm sorry that you're going through something like that. I'm sorry that life has gotten really difficult. Sometimes all they want to do, all they want to have is your support and non-judgmental free zone. And I've always been like that with my friends and my family is just trying to support people without really judging them. One of the things we do value a lot in life is of course sleep. And this video is brought to you by Celis, the sleep babe. The way I want to approach sponsorships in this channel is that I want to try things out before I tell you about them. And I did try this for a couple of nights and it did really help me sleep better and wake up clear. It's a sleep aid that has a lot of natural ingredients in it and it really makes you feel really good in the morning. A lot of the sleep aids that I've tried in the past have left me like really groggy and drowsy in the morning. Celis does not do that at all. It is really calming and really chill. You just need to take two of them about 30 to 45 minutes before bed and you will feel so calm and chill and ready to have a good, peaceful night's sleep. I will be honest with you about this because I try really hard to be honest on this channel. Um, this bottle is $36, but with my code ACUDO, which is below, you can get 10% off your purchase. So that's something that will really help you out. So thank you, Stellas, for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to work with you guys and thank you all for your support. Let's get back to the values. So how exactly does one hold values really close to their heart? It, it's just about figuring out what is important to you as you, you know, as you navigate life. Is family important to you? Is career important to you? Is having a beautiful home important to you? Is, you know, is having boundaries important to you? is you just have to figure out what your important things are in life and don't ever like cross those values. Don't ever do things that will cross those, those important things in your life. So for instance, if you want a career, right? Because we all really want careers in our lives. We all really want to be successful. What are you willing to do to be successful? Are you willing to commit crimes to be successful? No, that's not a very valued thing to hold at heart. Are you willing to, um, talk behind somebody's back to be successful are you willing to like fire somebody to be successful are you willing to like make fraudulent bank checks to be successful or are you going to go the more peaceful kind way of approaching success is maybe connecting with people maybe networking with people maybe talking to your peers about trying to be successful maybe watching youtube videos on being how to be successful speaking of youtube videos how many of you guys have seen that H Bomber guy's video on plagiarism? That's what I'm talking about. Those people that were featured in that video were like not holding very high standards when it comes to their values. They wanted to go about things very cheaply, very like quickly. And those are not ways to hold your values. Those are not good values to have. If you're trying to like copy and, and go about things in the most sneaky ways, those are just not good values. And those are not something that I, I, you know, I hold very close to my heart and I will not ever, 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 you know, be able to live a life knowing that I'm just like copying things and plagiarizing constantly. Like, I don't know how people do it. So again, they did not have very good values when it comes to plagiarism. They did not care about that stuff. Think about what are the most natural, kindest ways, legal ways I can approach this life 
and still have all those things that I want? Can I go through life without manipulating pe people? Can I go through life without being sneaky? Can I go through life without cutting really, really shady corners? Can I go through life without having, you know, my own integrity compromised? You know, that's how you kind of have to go about it. As long as you figure those things out and as long as you like try your best to kind of navigate that, um, then I think your values are pretty, pretty close. Another really important value that I hold close to me is kind of like treating people the way you want to be treated. It kind of goes back to the kindness thing is just treating people the way you want to be treated in life, right? Because if you are, if you treat people with kindness, they're going to repeat it to you. If you approach people with support, they're going to support you back. But again, life doesn't have to be this, like you do things for me and I do things for you kind of thing either. It can just be that that's your natural way of being is just making sure that you treat people with kindness and respect and, you know, and just the way you want to be treated. So that's also, you know, like if I, um, if I like, if a friend comes up to me and has a really good idea for, let's say a YouTube channel, am I going to be like, oh, that's a terrible idea? Or am I going to be like, oh my God, that's great. I love it. Good luck. Like, I want you to have the best thing you can. I want you to do the best you can. Let me know if you need any help. So it's like supporting people is super, super valuable to me as a person, because I know that if I know that's how I want to be treated too. Um, this whole YouTube thing, I've been doing it for years. And I just recently became successful. I became successful because a lot of people were supporting my goals and my dreams. Even my ex-husband was very supportive of me and my YouTube. He was never like, he would always like leave the house once um, I wanted to shoot a video because we lived in a really tiny space. So he would always leave the house. He would always like buy me props that I needed for the show. He would always like set up props for me. <laughs> he would always be super supportive. Some people were really disagreeable with me when it came to spending my money on a Beyonce ticket. They did not like that. People did not like the fact that I spent money on Beyonce tickets. Even though I was working at the time when I bought the tickets, even though I bought the tickets back in February and I was working and I was okay with spending money on it, even though I paid off the credit card bill, when it came to spending money on that show, people were still like, oh my God, you spent too much money. Like money is something that is like super, super, super valuable to all of us. And I really try to go about it, spending it quite wisely, but that doesn't mean that like I'm cheap and it doesn't mean that I don't like to have fun and I don't like to like do things that I want to do. I don't, I just don't like to have money like limit me when it comes to what I want to experience in the world. So that's something else I hold really valuable is of course money. And I just like to just have that in, I rather pay for something and experience it wholly than go about it cheaply and just be disappointed and regret my spending, you know, be supportive, be kind, be patient and be non-judgmental. And everything that I think that if you approach life holding those super, super um, values to your heart and just going about your life in the most positive way you can. I think things will work out. I'm a huge believer in karma too. So again, with the kindness, if you hold, if you're kind to people, they're going to be kind to you. If you're kind in the universe, kindness will come back to you. Um, also another thing I wanted to bring up was boundaries. I can talk about boundaries in another video because that's super important to me too, as, as I navigate this life but it's a very long topic and I would love to talk about it in the next video, but boundaries and values kind of go hand in hand and values are more about approaching it with people versus, you know, things. So that's another video. And I think that's going to be another video idea. That's it for now. Again, thank you so much for Stellis for supporting this video. I really appreciate it. Again, use the code Akudo to get 10% off on it. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. I think the next video is definitely going to be about boundaries, though, but we'll see. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.